So now that we have the image imported, uh, we're going to have to draw the geometry that um, um, that's displayed here that the uh, fire effects will be kind of affected by. Um, so I mean, it's uh, it's easiest to start with the uh, the floor as a slab obstruction, and so. Um, I'm just going to draw one big um, square. Um, the, on the floor, it doesn't really matter that much where, uh, how big it is, um, because it's just serving as kind of the base for your model. Um, Um, so when you draw this lab, you can open it up. Um, um, there's there's a lot of different options that you can choose. Um, you can change the size here. Um, so since I set the image on uh, on the basement level, I'm actually going to set this minimum Z level at um, negative three point two five, and then have the max Z at uh, three, so then it's on the, it's on the floor level that we want, um, and so, I think we should be able to see the image still. Hmm. Oh, I see. Whoops. All right. There we go. All right, so now we can still see the image, which is good. Um, and we know that the slab obstruction is there because we can turn and see it. So that serves as our, as our base. Um, and we need that basically to build the walls and then eventually um, the fire is going to go on there. So um, we can just start with the wall tool that's uh, right over here. Um, and you just uh, trace it out. Um, it has a snap feature um, that's pretty helpful to keep your walls uh, straight. Um, you can kind of feel it snap into a 90 degree angle. Um, but, yep, yeah. and then to end it, you just hit enter, and then you have a wall. Um, uh, yeah, so again, if you see that all of your geometry is not being made on the floor that you want, that means you're not, um, editing the floor that you want. So you have to go back up here. Um, and I would just delete the, uh, default floor. Um, or, no, actually, um, you can edit this. And we'll make these all negative three. Thickness, height, yeah. <clears throat> so now it's there, but now we want to just change our, our uh, model base to floor three. Um, I'm also going to change this to the basement. Okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hide actually the slab of destruction so just I can see my image clearly. Uh, and yeah, so now we have our first wall built. Um, I also should mention that the easiest way to do this is with a uh, mouse with a scroll wheel. Um, cause when you, you can zoom in and out with a scroll wheel, um, uh, you can, if you, use, if you hold down the scroll wheel, you can move around like this. Um, if you just click anywhere and you're in this mode, you can kind of scroll it around like you would do in the normal CAD program. Um, so that's something I would highly recommend is to, 
uh, to get something like this if you think you're going to be building a lot of models, um, which you probably will be doing for this class. Okay, so um, let's make some more walls. Um, oops, nope, that's a slab. So another wall is like this. And so to end it again, you just hit enter. Oops. It's not really what I wanted to do. Another wall. Line it up. And then I guess one key thing is to make sure that the uh, your two walls that you like are intersecting because um, if they don't intersect well enough then uh, smoke could possibly get through them um, which would be sort of a non-physical result um, so you want to make sure that they're connected and then if you notice in the model there's smoke getting into places where there it shouldn't get to then um, then you want to fix that. Um, so yeah, so that's how you build the walls. You have to build the rest of them and then I'll, I'll show you what to do with the fire after that.